What's going on, 49er faithful, 49er fam, 49er gang? It's your boy 49er Dion here, back with another video. So, um, definitely want to go ahead and let y'all know to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on the post notifications so you keep yourself up to date on any and everything San Francisco 49ers and NFL. So the first thing I'm gonna do is let y'all know that this video is gonna be based more on the NFL. I'll drop a little 49er juice in at the end. But this is for the players who have opted out of the 2020 season. So, first thing is, um, basically they have until August 3rd to opt out of the season. Uh, if they do opt out of the season, they cannot return at all. Players with pre-existing conditions, meaning if you got a heart condition or whatever the case may be, um, they give you 350 k um, over the year, and players that don't have any conditions, you get 150 k over the year. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to go team by team and let y'all know exactly what happened, you know, with players who did go ahead and opt out and what's going on, and if those players are even significant or not. But I'm going to run through this really quick. Um basically and then you do have this odd you have you do have the option to opt out later in the season um and it's the same thing if you opt out at any point during the season whether it be later or whether it be right here before august 3rd you cannot come back for the rest of the season you will have to stay home they will give you that hundred fifty thousand or three hundred fifty thousand dollar check um football players get paid in game checks so I mean, I know you see bonuses, I know you see this, I know you see that, but at the end of the day, these dudes get paid game by game. And there are still some dudes out there that live game check to game check, so it's kind of frustrating, but it is what it is. So, with that being said, uh, we're basically going in all over the place. We're not going in any specific order. So, the Ravens, uh, DeAnthony Thomas, a wide receiver, he was their return specialist. He opted out. Um, their backup tackle, Andre Smith, has also opted out. Um, DeAnthony Thomas being a return specialist, yes, that does hurt the team in a way because as much as one, people want to think special teams don't matter, they do. You know what I'm saying? If you got a dude that's a, that's a beast at returning and, you know, he can either put your offense in a great position um, to be able to not have too far to go to score a touchdown and or score touchdowns, you need that dude and you want that dude on the squad. So that may hurt him a little bit. They got to find somebody else to do that. Um, then we uh, slide on over to Buffalo Star, uh, Lotulele. He's out. Um, Star had a heart condition before he came into the NFL, so I can understand why that man would opt out. And that is a big hit to the Bills' interior defensive line because Star Lotulele um, will eat up uh, blocks and everything, man. You have no idea, no idea how great this dude is. So, um Next thing is, we got uh, the Bears. Uh, Eddie Goldman, he's a nose tackle. Um, then you got the Cowboys, uh, defensive back uh, Maurice Kennedy, um, Stephen Guidry, uh, and, uh, UDFA, uh, wide receiver too. So, um, you know, as far as those two guys, I mean, the UDFA, he wasn't really going to have too much of a shot to make the squad anyway because there's no offseason really. And there's no preseason for him to really show his stuff. All he has is tape, so it's going to be harder for him to make it anyway. And remember, this is no disrespect to these dudes. I'm just kind of letting you know my opinion. Um, the Broncos, uh, defensive tackle Kyle Pecco. Um, although I wouldn't want to play for the Broncos right now anyway with the way John uh, John Elway been acting. I, I, don't, I don't respect that dude at all. Um, Texas defensive tackle uh, Eddie Vanderos. Um, Chiefs guard, uh, Laurent DuVernay Tardif. We already knew about him. He was the first player to opt out, but he went to school for like medical stuff. So he's out there doing a noble thing, trying to help save lives. So I, you know, I can't even be mad at dude. You know, he, he's doing what he feels is best in his heart. And that's that you definitely commend him for that. Damian Williams is out. And that's hard because that's your starting running back. So Clyde Edwards Hilaire, hello and welcome to the NFL. You about to get a whole heap in the running that ball. If they decide to go ahead and run and, and make sure that that's doing it, you're going to be running, you're going to be doing everything, brother. So Clyde edwards alaire welcome to the NFL. You can thank Damian Williams for opening up the door for you to have a fantastic season as long as the season progresses with no problems. Um, Vikings defensive tackle Mike, uh, Michael Pierce. Now here's the team that has been hit by this the hardest. 
because they have several starters out. These dudes are key cogs in that defense. And I know Belichick probably is a little bothered by it, but, I mean, you can't front people for wanting to be, you know, be very careful about their lives. Um, the Patriots, Dante Hightower, your starting middle linebacker, the anchor of that defense, not going to play. Uh, you've got uh, right tackle Mark Marcus Cannon, uh, he's out. Um, running back Brandon Bolden, don't really know what that dude is. Uh, fullback Danny Vitale, don't know who that guy is. Uh, offensive lineman Najee Torian, 49er fans, if you remember, Najee was with us for a little bit. Uh, he never got to play on the starting squad, but I think we had him on the practice squad and we always had him uh, just on the squad in general um, as a little bit, but he opted out. And the other big hit is Patrick Chung. Now, that is their star safety. So, it's when players like this sit down, it opens the door for another cat, but it's hard because you don't want to leave that door open too long because, you know what I'm saying, the NFL, they think about what you what have you done for me lately. You know, but uh, I wouldn't say Patrick Chung and Dante Hightower have any reason to be thinking about losing their jobs because they sit out this season. I think they're just being cautious, blessings to them and their families. You know, hopefully everything works out. Um, Saints tight end, Cole Wick, another tight end, Jason uh, Vander uh, Vanderlaan um, have sat out, but those two are probably backup tight ends. They're probably a UDFA or something to that effect because I never saw those dudes. I saw Jared Cook, and there was another tight end in the game that was eating us alive when we played them. Uh, that game, but um, that that the, those dudes, they're, they're backups. They they don't even matter. Giants left tackle Nate Solder. They signed Nate Solder because Nate Solder was supposed to be the left tackle and anchor that offensive line, man, and make sure that nobody gets to uh, Daniel Jones's blind side. The the Giants' offensive line is already an atrocity as it is, and you your left tackled and sat down. <sighs> Boy, it don't get no better for y'all, man. Y'all better I hope you gotta hope the Giants can find a left tackle to be able to replace him. And I'm not saying replace him, replace him. I'm saying just be able to do the job for the year because Nate Holder is actually usually a great left tackle. Um, he hasn't looked as as great as he did in New England since he joined the Giants. But either way, man, he's still a big body to replace. Uh, the Jets' offensive lineman Leo. I'm gonna try to say this: Kolowana Tanji. Um, the Browns offensive tackle Drake Dorbeck and offensive guard Drew Forbes. Uh, the Eagles, Marquise Goodwin. Now, if you remember 49er fans, we traded Marquise Goodwin to the Eagles. And he just had a baby, man. Blessing to that man and his family. And glad after a couple of situations where he wasn't able to, uh, you know, they, they didn't have a child. They had one and it unfortunately passed. They do have a beautiful, you know, new baby. And that baby is alive, healthy. And Keith said, hey, man, choosing my baby over this NFL. I ain't got time for this. So I can I can understand and appreciate that. Um, the Packers, Devin Funches. Now, the Packers already have just barely Devontae Adams as it is to be, you know, Aaron Rodgers' main receiver. Um, uh, Jesus Christ. Graham hasn't looked as great as he, you know, once was when he was with the Saints. He did all right when he was with the Seahawks, but he didn't do great. Ever since he left the Saints, he hasn't been the same. Jimmy Graham hasn't been the same player. And now you lose Devin Funches, who's your number two receiver. Not good, man. And y'all already don't have no weapons for Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, I bet you might want to call T.O. Um, Titans, uh, Anthony McKinney. Uh, the Seahawks offensive lineman, Chance Warmack. Now, I ain't going to lie, that's great for us because not having to face Chance Warmack in the season means that their offensive line has just got worse than it already was for Seattle. So that makes it easier on us as 49er fans. Now... <clears throat> Quick hitter, I'm gonna give y'all some some guys who didn't who have team teams who have guys who've never who have not opted out of the season period. 49ers, Bengals, Bucks, Cardinals, Chargers, Colts, Dolphins, Falcons, Jags, Raiders, Rams, and Steelers. Nobody on their teams have opted out. Now the 49ers, we have one guy to watch. Unfortunately, Dre Greenlaw has kind of mulled over on Twitter that he may or may not opt out because he has a baby on the way. I can understand if he does. You got to put your family first, you know, before everything. But I hope that he does not because I want him, one, to get paid to be able to provide for that child. Two, we need you, Dre. We need you, man. You did an awesome job last year. You did great. We didn't. We barely lost a step when Quan went out and you stepped in. So hopefully he does not. But uh, those are the players that have opted out of the 2020 season. Let me know what y'all think. 
And, um, you know, once again, this is all respect to these players for making the decision to be able to protect themselves and their families during these unlikely times. Um, and then, oh, a little 49ers gem I'm going to drop for y'all real quick. On the top 100, Fred Warner, 70. Uh, Jimmy G, 43. Uncle Sherm, 28. Bosa, 17. And Mr. Kittle came in at number seven, baby. I was wrong on the other video. But, uh, hey, man, to have that many players on the top 100 and to have George Kittle in the top 10, that tells you that we're doing something right and we did make a huge jump from these previous years with Shanahan and even in these previous years that we spent in purgatory going through Chip Kelly and Tom, Jim Tom Sula and all of that. But y'all stay faithful. Y'all stay blessed. Have a wonderful day. I'll be back with more content.